Ooh, too slow. They were too slow. Hello, Snuggle Bugs. Welcome back to another Hearthstone video for the month of June. We're working at you with a thick, a thick big boy beast hunter, where the main goal is to get things like a harpoon gun to get out big old beasties on the board and get some rush minions and, uh, ooh, doing that in the opening hand. A little rough, but that's all right. You can't get everything you want as we go against this warrior, uh, maybe rogue. They mulliganed all three cards in their hand. <clears throat> So it's hard to tell, but that's all right. Trog first. Next turn, we're probably going to just coin out the harpoon gun, depending on, of course, what they do. Armor up. Boring. Wonder if that means that they're control warrior. Get them with the harpoon gun. Give me a mountain bear. Oh, nice, you did. Thank you, game. I appreciate you. Now, I won't be able to play it next turn like normally you can with the Harpoon Gun because I coined out the Harpoon. Um, but at least I have it for turn four. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> That's what I thought. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes, four mana mountain bear. Well, let me slither spear. I guess we just quick shot it and hit it with the uh, Harpoon Gun. And let's take Revive Pet. Because we're going to take the Mountain Bear next turn, and then if it dies, we can just revive Pet. So effectively, it's going to be a 4-mana Mountain Bear into a hopeful a 3-mana Mountain Bear the turn after with the Hero Power. Tooth and Fire. That's a good one. It's good. Jackpot. Hopefully you don't have a Trickster in your hand. Mountain Bear. All right. So we got, we got it. <laughs> we, we got we got the, the 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 main point of the deck in my opinion. Obviously, that could have been Hydralodon instead. Uh, they don't have any minions down, so honestly, at this point, I think Hydralodon uh, actually Mountain Bear might be slightly better. Uh, it's hard to say though. I kind of like getting Hydralodon off of the Selective Breeder. Uh, the Candle Shot. Okay. Cool. We'll just beat him down. We, that could be Counterspell, Revive Pet won't actually work, so I might have to wait until I draw uh, a, a cheaper spell. I'm pointing at my screen. <laughs> the lower cost spells. Oh, scale. One, two, three, one, two. Oh, they can completely clear me. Oh, they're actually going to do it in a way that keeps, uh, what, uh, two, of their, two of their things alive? Sure. Yeah, well, let's just Tavish, then. And if we get Explosive Trap, then I'll probably just save my Candle Shot. Proved Ice Trap is, is, is handy. And let's get the Emergency Maneuvers for later. Because we got a, we got another Mountain Bear we can play next turn, and then if it dies, we get two more. Chef's Keys. Yeah, no, I didn't pick anything to, to, to do that. That's Explosive Runes, though. My Mountain Bear will die on impact, will not set off the emergency maneuvers. Hmm. Yes. You have no hmm. idea what okay. That's what? Counter okay, so we know that is Counterspell, at least. That's something. And, uh, yeah. Let's uh, just play the Mountain Bear, and uh, I guess we swing into another one of these things, since we can. Look at them protecting their cobs. Okay, yep. Thank you. Hmm. I don't want to take this out. So yeah, that's going to mm -hmm, take out most of those. Uh, this will put them down to 10. Weirdly enough, part of me is, is starting to actually look at this and go... Does it make more sense for the revive pet to get countered? Because if I hit them for 10 and I have an 8 damage charge. Uh no. Now now that I see that, we're good. We'll uh let this get countered. Revive pet. There's no guarantee these will hit either for 10, right? So mountain bear. Um if all of these die, would make six. So that actually if I get another one, it's actually not gonna be enough. So let's summon a pet. Cool. Another bear. <laughs> Misha. Uh, that's great. I mean, I kind of would have preferred Huffer, again, because with, with the King Crush in our hand, uh, we have the out of possibly getting them with... Uh, ooh, no, no, no. 
Oh, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? What do we do? Do we just, uh, I think, I think we just hero power play Mountain Bear again? Maybe? I don't really think there's a need to being crushed, so let's do that. And then the turn after we can Mountain Bear or Revive Pet if we want to, or just keep doing the Summon Pet to try to get out. Maybe we're going to go a value route. A little more pickly than we wanted. No. Cool, so that's their second null. Trading their black water cutlass. So they're looking for maybe something that can take care of my mountain bear. They hit here and have another tooth and a fire in. Oh, Krabatoa. Uh huh. Boom. Ooh, too slow. They were too slow. Kind of just want to make me. Kind of just want a pet collector. Get some rushes. Good. Good job. Give me this one. What do you got for me, pet collector? Oh, another one. And then I guess we just go face. Pet collectors are good. Good, good, good. So now we're putting them back on that foot where, I mean, they obviously have double traits here. Um, maybe they have a wicked stab or something to take out one of these things, but that's 15 damage. King Crush again. We just really want, we just want our T-Rex. Raw, short little arms. <laughs> cool. Mm. It is a shame on their side that they that they ran out of time because that uh, Krabatoa was huge. Oh. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. They can wipe the board here. Yep. And they that only cost them two mana because they discounted it so much with. Yep. Okay. Ouch. Jackpot. Jackpot. What do we do? Oh, no. Party up. Okay, so they got no taunt, but they do have uh, the poisonous. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, mountain Bear. Trade the doggy biscuit. Hero power! I guess we just take out one of these. Ugh. <laughs> what a roller coaster! They just, they, uh, I keep thinking I got them, uh, that I have it, and then they just keep bringing it back with some really, uh, swingy turns. They've had some good swingy turns. At scale of Anixioth, that first jackpot has cleared, what, three of my boards thus far? question is, is do I let the barb nets, like do I, if I can hit them for one point of face damage, do I play the king crush and let the barb nets get countered and just try to face race them? I don't even think, because they have this uh, demonic blast and they have a, such a board full of minions. I don't think I could win that race, to be perfectly honest with you. Hit, hit. Double, double. And hero power. Oh, they don't have enough. Uh, okay. Ooh. Ooh. They don't have enough. The only thing is there's no guarantee that I'll get revive uh, uh, King Crush off the revive pet. Let's go for it. And I'm actually not going to trigger the counter spell now in case they have another contraband stash. But we're going. We're going to go for it. We're going to play to our outs. Yep. Makes sense. Sure. As long as they don't heal or get a taunt, I'm going to play to my out, trying to get the King Crush off of the Revive Pet as our lethal condition, as our win con. Uh, that's about all I got. Quick Shot Huffer would be pretty good, though, too. Decisions, decisions. I guess it depends on what I draw. So it's a lot of luck. <laughs> it's a lot of luck for us right now. Um, Harpoon Gun. Hmm, nope, that is not the case. So I guess we just barb nets, let that go off. Revive pet, get our king crush, baby! And they have a, such a board full of minions, I don't think I could win that race. Boom. Wasn't even close. <laughs> wasn't even close. 
<laughs> oh well. If you enjoyed that game, like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna go hop into another one. Alrighty, it looks like we're hopping into a game against another rogue. A little rogue action though. We'll uh, we'll give it a go. We'll see what we can do here against it. I could be wrong. Um, could just be pirate rogue, which is like a hyper aggressive deck, which means that the or they're a thief rogue without the. Uh, hmm. Actually, kind of surprised by that. Let's go slither spear into nothing. That way we can slither spear, maybe barb nets next turn, and that saves us the coin for either the pet collector or the, the storm pike battle ram. Kind of want to save the barb nets now until I have two different targets. So let's do that. Boom. We know that they have one of our storm pike battle rams. Excuse me, Tooth and Nefarian. If they don't have anything I want to rush into, there's really no need to coin this out, so maybe I'll save it and coin up the Pet Collector the turn after. Remove the top. Pop. Pop the tap. Okay. Coin the Sharon Saber. The reason for that is because if I can get it off the Pet Collector, uh, since we know that both our battle, uh, battle rams are gone and one of our sabers is gone, That'll allow us to... Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's okay. Candle shot. Wow. Well, let's just do this, I guess. Yep. Smack, smack. Smackity, smack, smack, smack. I'm honest to goodness surprised that they're playing parlay like some kind of thiefy rogue. Um, unless it's more of like disrupt rogue. Maybe they have things that like mess with your hand. Like I forget what it's called. Uh, it's a two mana card that transforms cards in the hand and then uh, to, to like a murloc or a pirate. And then, uh, like, Okani to, to just... Maybe it's just a disruption rogue. But I just feel like not playing the thief package. G kudos for them, I guess, for playing something different. Woo! Woo, that's a beast! <laughs> I was like, oh, they don't have beasts. Doesn't matter, I was wrong. <laughs> so, Pet Collector can only get us a Sunken Saber or a Sharon Saber. Um, obviously... Shar and Saber's better. Could just revive pet, but I think let's let's pet collector hope for the sunken saber. Nope. That's alright. We'll just do this then. Boom. Put the sunken saber at the bottom. So if we get our other pet collector, I think it's guaranteed to pull that sunken saber out of the bottom of the deck. Ooh. Okay. Hit, and then probably just dagger up. Okay. Itchy nose. Oh, I can... Oh, I can, because I died. Uh, so let's Hydralodon. And we can actually... This double barb nets. Clears their board. Gets us a big, wide Hydralodon head. Mmm, look at this. Look at this fancy board. I don't know uh, if the, that type of deck probably would not play Spammy Arcanist, um, but I could be wrong. I could I could be very wrong. I've been known to be wrong before. Sure. One, two, three, four, six, seven. So they can take up my Hydralodon, but it leaves me with my 4-4. Four, four. And I'm going to probably just attempt to revive Pet to get it back. Or I'll just play the Mountain Bear. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Our big, thick, beastie boys. We gotcha. We gotcha. The only thing that's missing in this picture is a nice cold bottle of Coca-Cola. I say as I drink some Pepsi. Hmm. Ah. Okay. That's slightly unfortunate because they have stealth. So I guess I'll just have to play Mountain Bear and the Candle Shot. Yeah, we'll attack with the Candle Shot. There's no reason not to. I say that, and then in a couple turns there'll probably be a reason not to, but that's alright. So now, like I said, Pet Collector should actually guarantee get us a Sunken Saber, which then would get us out either King Crush or Mountain Bear. Or the other Sunken Saber, I guess. But you know what I mean. Um, at the end of that trail. And then Revive Pet um, isn't going to guarantee get us uh, the Hydralodon, of course. Uh, Trickster, I'm assuming. Again, I just, I, I not to say it like uh, five times in the same video, but it feels kind of weird to me that they're going with all of this and not playing the Maestra. I guess that's how they fit in the parlay into their build. Maybe they took out like the Maestra, Noel. I guess I could still have Noel, but. Miracle Growth. That's big. 
I think that means my pet collector is going to do some work, though. Because, again, Sunken Saber, like, Sunken Saber into Sunken Saber would actually be amazing against uh, the Kelp Creeper. Ooh, another revived pet, too. Pet collector! Sunken Saber! Boom. Sunken Saber! Boom. Mountain Bear. Barb Nets. Um, won't let me tar- okay, there we go. As I say, wouldn't let me target it. And then let's revive pet. I guess we'll take the sunken saber. Go face. So that sunken saber should get me King Crush, which is pretty awesome. So at this point, even if they kill our whole board, um, we'd be left with four two four taunts and hopefully a King Crush, as well as a way to bring stuff back. We have five damage here between hero power and quick shot over the top damage as well. Wouldn't mind getting another like five damage through here and trade this into something to pull out the King Crush to get another King Crush lethal. Do like me some T-Rex boy. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Ah, it's Cubs. More Cubs. And King Crush. <gasps> what do you got here? What? Don't kill my T-Rex. Okay, we gotta use what? Oh, okay. Uh, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. I actually don't think I have lethal yet. Hmm. I have no no beasts left. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Boom! King crush. <laughs> yes, it's almost like it's guaranteed, but it isn't. <laughs> Well, I do hope you enjoyed those. Have a great rest of your day, and thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.